Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we are in the fourth Sunday of Lent. We have almost come halfway through Lent, and this Sunday is called Letare Sunday, meaning a Sunday to rejoice. In the first reading taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 5 verses 9 to 12, we can hear of joy as the Israelites are in the plains of Jericho and they have started eating the fruit of the promised land. Manna has stopped from falling. Their desert days are now over. Those days of trial and difficulty have come to a close. In the second reading taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 17 to 21, we hear that everyone who is in Christ is a new creation. This too is a matter of joy. We who are in Christ can rejoice because we have been created anew and we can assume new orientations and perspectives. In the Gospel passage, the father rejoices as the prodigal son returns. The Gospel passage is Luke chapter 15 verses 1 to 3 and verses 11 to 32. We shall fix our gaze on the Gospel pericope itself. This parable brings in a lot of thoughts. If we focus on the frames of this passage, we come to know the danger of some who think that they are in union with God but has basic problems. They then think of their service of God as a heavy weight and they are jealous of the fact that God is merciful to people who are sinful. As such, in this parable, Jesus presents two kinds of people. One, people who are sinners but have changed their way of life and turn to God. Two, the just two think that they are being rejected and that their efforts are not valued. What Jesus advises is that both of them should come into communion with God. When the sinful son returns to the father, the father is in danger of losing the son who is just. The younger son who has gone away from the father returns, acknowledging his miserable situation and the need for communion with the father. This moment is in fact an occasion for the elder son to realize his state of life. He can retain his communion with the father only if he is able to rejoice with the father on the return of the brother. Only then he will become the true son of his father. Only when we come to understand the love of God, especially God's love for sinful persons, we will be able to persevere in God's love. It's God's love for the sinful brothers and sisters which makes us love others. When we love those whom God loves, we are in communion with God, otherwise not. Now let's get into some details. As we know, the younger son in the parable represents sinners. At first, this man is not able to appreciate the love of the father. He wants to live independently. Therefore, he gets away from the father. He collects his share from the father, but spends it irresponsibly. Such a kind of life leads him to total destruction and to poverty. As for a Jew, to tender swine was most shameful. But he does not even get the food that the pigs would get. Then he comes to his senses. He recalls the joy that he has had when he was in the home of his father. Now he does not justify his sinful ways. At the same time, he does not think that he is lost and there is no way of escape. He is not desperate in that regard. He acknowledges his sinful situation and is ready to return to the father. He intends to beg his father to take him as a servant in the household of the father. He starts thus his journey. This man represents those persons who have committed grave errors in life but did return to Jesus. Here we have persons such as the sinful woman and the criminal crucified with Jesus but had begged for pardon and had got it. The father represents God. He receives the son with both hands extended and open. When he sees the younger son, he does not burn with anger. He does not think in terms of punishment for his son. 
his attitude is one of merciful love the expressions of love are amazing he runs and embraces his son he hears the acknowledgement of the sinful nature of his son that is his confession but he does not pronounce a punishment instead he orders a celebration he has no time to explore the past and accuse the son of it the father is happy that his son has come back to his communion it's a time to rejoice and that is the attitude of the father now the elder son represents those who follow the will of the father and are faithful to him but here the elder son refuses to join in the joy of the father he is upset and angry on account of the behavior of the father he feels that he is neglected and rejected by the father however the perspective of the elder son is something which is very much limited he dwells on what is exterior he complains that when the younger son of the father who had squandered the money and returned the father had killed the fatted calf whereas he who has been quite obedient has not been given even a god to celebrate with his friends he does not think that he has been living in full communion with the father and has been enjoying all the goods of the father whereas his brother had come from abject poverty he dwells on what has been in the past we should remember that the father had not inquired about the past of the eldest son here the eldest son looks only at the faults of the other he does not recognize that he is his brother he is not ready to share in the joy of the return of his brother home the father tries to keep the eldest son too together with him in his company in his communion the father tries to instill in him the true spirit of being in the family he has to view things in the right perspective he should not insist on externalities but should get into the heart of the matter he has been living in communion with the father and that should continue but it should be in an inclusive way as well ready to welcome the sinner who comes back when god deals with sinful human beings in a merciful way the just should rejoice and not be jealous or envious there the difference of you and we will disappear and there will be only we all we rejoice on this sunday as god is ready to take us all as his sons and daughters forgiving our sins and iniquities on account of his merciful love amen